friends, we are in the President's grounds in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, which is islands in the Caribbean. We are on the island of Trinidad, and this is within the area of the capital called Port of Spain. The grounds are the President's grounds because that house that you see all the way in the back there, that's the house of the President of the country. The current president is Her Excellency Paula May Weeks. And these are some of the beautiful flowering plants within the grounds. In times past, people would come here to have their weddings, wedding photos. I don't know if they have to ask a special permission for that or not. I guess there's a schedule. But because of the pandemic, a lot of this area was closed and was only recently opened. And I decided let's come and take a look. Now I have a video of the president's grounds from a distance. That's narrow to the side of Savannah but I don't act, I didn't actually get on the grounds so today we get on the grounds it's seven o'clock in the morning so the sun is rising in the east to my back creating a shadow on some things but nevertheless you can see the beauty of the place and why people would want to come here to do their wedding photos and so forth Now Trinidad and Tobago is independent and a republic but before that they were a British colony and they had a governor general so this would have been the governor general's house but since becoming a republic we have a president and so this is the president's house but it has maintained that colonial architectural design and of course because we're in the Caribbean there's a lot of plants and trees to show off the extent of the kind of flora and fauna we have here Normally this hedge would block your view of the house from this close So I'm using the extension rod to see over it And I don't know if you can hear it if you're using a phone you may not be able to hear it well But if you're watching this on your computer your laptop or with the headphones You will be able to hear all the birds chirping That's one of the really nice things about visiting both the president's grounds and the royal botanic gardens are the birds they really do sing and sing aloud <laughs> now the actual grounds that is available to the public is not large by the time we pass here we would have covered the, all of it Sometimes you can look well and you may see birds in the trees. And you'll notice that I left audio for that very purpose so that you could hear the birds. Unfortunately you'll also hear the cars that are going around the Queen's Park Savannah which is a very large open area in the middle of the city and I believe one of the if not the largest roundabouts in the world in order to get from point A to B you have to go around it and the going around the savannah is about two and a half miles Of course the President's grounds and the Royal Botanic Gardens are great places to come and sit down and meditate. 
as well as exercise. In fact, as we head towards the botanic gardens, you will see that a lot of people are taking the opportunity to exercise. It has a slight incline to it, so going up can give you a larger workout than going down, of course. And there are many paths, so it's not like one round or over loop like an Olympic stadium, but there are different uh, pathways, so you can always change up the way you go in and out of the Botanic Gardens to make it more enjoyable. One of the interesting things about here is that a lot of the trees are labeled, so you can see what they are and what they're about both these scientific and common names there's no charge to come in any of these places these are open public areas and why I like to come at this hour of the day is because it's very um, quiet Besides the cars, you know, late in the evening on weekends, you'd see lots of children here running up and down, making noise and so forth, and it doesn't make for a serene environment. Somebody made a little steel pan outfit there using metalworks. I showed some of that in the vegan videos when we went to the vegan festival. There was somebody there that seemed to specialize in that. Those of you who have not been to the botanic gardens in many many years will see that there are now information centers and buildings to your right. I have never been in it. And I, I, I'm not even sure if it's public accessible. There's always these security cars there, and I'm not sure what else is there. Like all places, there are rules. See if you can read all those rules of do's and don'ts. In the botanic gardens. This is the main entrance where we turn where we turn here. This would be the main entrance to the botanic gardens. And if you follow that path, you would go straight up to the other end of it, which we will do. But in doing so, I will you know panel a bit to the left and the right and so forth to give you an idea of what you would see if you came here besides um, you know the beaches and so in my personal opinion the botanical gardens and in its prime when it's clean the grass is cut and so forth is the best eye candy the country has to offer I'm saying besides the beaches and whatnot I mean it's really nice because you get so many trees so many birds the serenity of it you know it's, it's well kept I, and I'll say well kept most of the time huh? sometimes there are those delinquents that will throw their stuff here and there but Usually by the next day the workers will come and take care of that. I 
and using my extension pole gives you a really good view of it than you would have otherwise seen if you were just walking normally And in case you're a first time visitor to JB's Man Cave, this is how I do a lot of my videos. I try to make it raw so that you can get a feeling of what it's like. It, you know, my channel is not about racing through th things or just being fast and highlighting and jumping through stuff. But to calmly move from one step to the next so you can actually feel like you are there. The idea is too as if you are watching this on a big screen, you could sit back and relax and just take in the view. And as always, JB's Man Cave is not only about walking and road trips or looking at nice Caribbean stuff, but I do cover other issues, self-awareness, crazy driving, veganism and so forth. Those are all on my channel as well, JB's Man Cave. By the way, th if you're watching this video from embedded in another person's webpage, just know that the main channel is JB's Man Cave and you can watch it all there. Those little gazebos or huts are good for picnicking to your left. We'll visit those later so you don't have to worry, we'll take a good look at them on our way back. Now I have been coming here since I was a child and I can honestly say except for one or two new trees here and there, it is relatively the same. They have kept it the same all through these years. The only slight changes I could say are the most noticeable are what I already described, the buildings to the front and you know new plants planted here and there that you wouldn't have seen before like this little patch of uh, garden to your left that's fairly new but it's you know it's not a huge impact on the rest of the gardens I, I would guess it's a new project as well In my opinion, this hour of the morning is the best time to come here, just for the peace and quiet, fresh air. But uh, anytime after 10, and a lot of people start to come, and late in the evening even more will come. So if you're the kind of person that likes traffic, well then those are the hours to come. That building in the back, um, I used to know it as the Ombudsman building, but I don't know what it is now. 
it used to be an old wooden structure and they tore it down some years ago and put up that concrete structure in my teen years I used to love to run through here and would actually run through it in the evening it was a good jog it, it was one of the nicest jogs to run up hill the incline is just enough to give you a, a, a little bit of a workout but not really take your breath away if if you're accustomed to running because if you're not accustomed to running any kind of run will take your breath away Seems like they're doing some clearing here. I don't normally see all this roughage on the ground. Just taking in that flower. Group of flowers. Patch of flowers. Oh and on the left here is another if you haven't been here for many, many years. On the left here is another fairly new part um, I don't know if I would call it a nursery or what but they do have like orchids and other I guess more fragile or more valuable plants in there not sure if it's open to the public whether you can tour or if they have um, tour guys to show you wrong but it's more I have never really seen it open as letting the public just walk in and out most of the time I see these gates closed if you know more about it you can always feel free to comment in my youtube channel as far as safety goes it's relatively safe like anything else you have to be on your guard I wouldn't come here in the evening after dark in fact um, it used to be that you could come in the botanical gardens at any time but that was changed um, some years ago when a lot of crimes and robberies used to happen here because people would come here at night so they, I believe they close it after a certain time but in any case you know these kind of isolated places you wouldn't want to be around at night sorry for that wobbly effect sometimes I'm tired of holding the extension rod or I'm not holding it properly and that causes that vibration it's not really the stabilizers fault as much as mine Now this is another hidden area of the botanical gardens you know you, you could keep to the normal path and when I say normal the path that uh, doesn't deviate from that relative big oval or circle this little path here that's closer to the um, president's house has some very very nice trees and flowering plants that you can take a look at there's also a nursery here which again I have never seen accessible to the public I would imagine if there are students of horticulture agriculture or whatever have you botany they would um, come here to conduct their experiments grow stuff or whatnot Now even though I'm using the extension rod here and I'm filming in 1080p full HD I will be making other attempts to come here to film in different other ways and sometimes on my channel you will see me record I'm, I'm saying film but really record because we no longer film anything I, I will video record in the same place many times because it will be recorded in different ways and in different formats you know a higher resolution 
maybe a focus on certain things in fact I already have videos on the botanic gardens you know just watching parts of it if you haven't seen those you can always look for them Now the only thing that breaks the um, serenity at this hour are these lawn mowers, the ones that are driven and also tractors pass through here, weed, weed whackers and in a van. those are really loud and noisy, I'm sure it disturbs the birds as well. It's an unusual tree, no leaves, almost like it's fall, yet still it's blooming flowers. To the left would be the president's house. There's some little steps there you can get closer to it. Have a look. But the best way to see the president's house is where we started from the president's grounds. If you're interested in photography or you want to take pictures or whatever, that would be the best place to start. This little section here has lots of um, bougainvillea plants. Those are shrubs that flower a lot. I have a few videos on them. And there are a lot of multicolored ones here, but they are not in a strong bloom at the moment. Usually when they are, this whole area is full of color. Now, an unusual thing that people probably don't take much attention to is the fact that there's actually a small cemetery in the middle of the botanic gardens. And a lot of the names that are there may not be too familiar, but one of the popular ones that everybody should know is Sir Solomon Hochoy, who was a governor general of Trinidad, both before it became independent and right after believe him and his wife are both buried here interestingly enough um, Sir Solomon Ho Choi was one of the first non-white governors of the British Crown Colony and he was from a Chinese background I don't know if he was mixed with anything else but having you know non-white person at that time was a big deal Now I don't know if you can pick it up, but when I came, when I approached this cemetery, if you, if you have headphones and you turn up the volume a lot, you may hear it, but there's a hum. It's a strange hum. Now, I don't know if it's just coincidence or not, but when I entered the, this area, there was like a hum on the microphone. And then that happened. How weird is that? Ghosts, you think? Do you believe in ghosts?
If you know more about the history of this cemetery and would like to tell us more, educate us, feel free to comment in the comments area of this video. You see, this is the thing that would make Trinidad more appealing, as if they had some sort of sign or explanation about what this little patch, this little cemetery is about. And some of the people buried here, you know, people could just read and educate themselves. Are you the kind of person that uh, feels a bit strange walking through a cemetery? I know some people like to avoid cemeteries. I find them very interesting. Just looking at the names, the time period. And I think, um, and this is my personal opinion, but you know, s some more information about the person buried should always be on the stone. You know, not just the uh, birth and death dates but you know who were they what did they do something brief and general leaving the um, cemetery we will go towards the area with the huts wooden huts that allow you to picnic get to these um, huts you would have to walk through the grass there's no particular path to it generally they are usually maintained well unless there are a lot of people they may leave their stuff there generally generally I'm seeing it's well maintained you can see where there's a little bit of trash there and whoever comes to clean up I guess will pick that up now you can walk up this hill we're not going to do that today but if you walk all the way up you get a good view of Port of Spain and you can see that from me just going to this little area here I'm not gonna like I said go all the way but you can just imagine that if you went all the way you know you would get get to see a lot of interesting stuff it's a fairly steep hill but it's very beautiful to look at and again I don't know if you can hear it because on your phone you know the speaker isn't that great but if you put some headphones on you can really hear a lot of birds in the background and I'm going to pick up some of the birds right here and one in particular that goes to the ground to get something to eat see if you can spot it do you see it? not sure what it grabbed I'm 
I'm not sure what they're doing with those cut stumps either if it's to make mini stools out of them or what oh there's the bird again seems to be getting a lot of food there and it's just rich to pick up that huh? because sometimes you would have to wait so long to get a shot like that so it's nice that we were able to pick it up you can see how sturdy and well built these structures are you can um, bring your food and picnic there I, no, I'm not sure if you have to um, make a reservation or not see there goes the tractor and what was funny is the, the lady was trying to walk and then the tractor just suddenly stopped and then she was probably saying to herself you know what the fudge and she wasn't sure whether it was going stopping or whatever goes around it so I hope you enjoyed our walk around the president's grounds and the Royal Botanic Gardens um, there's a vehicle passing there but other than that I'm gonna leave you to hear the natural sounds of the Botanic Gardens and to have another few minutes listening to nature feel free to leave comments in my youtube channel and if you are not a subscriber please do subscribe i have many videos like this some covering other islands in the caribbean and even other countries in outside of the caribbean so i would love to have your support do like do subscribe let your friends know Thank you and keep watching.